built in 1786. Miagao Church, also known as the Santo Tomas de Villanueva Parish, is one of the most visited tourist attractions in Miagao, Iloilo. More than a place of worship, it also served as a fortress. Hence, it is called the Baroque Fortress Church. It was designed with the Baroque features, with touches of Chinese and Filipino style imposing designs, ornaments, and motifs, making it a one-of-a-kind church. Throughout the years, it has gone through many wars and revolutions, fires and earthquakes, and still survived. Before Miagao Church, there were two churches that were built in town but both were burned by Muslim raiders and pirates. It was just in 1786 when the construction of Miagao Church started and completed in 1797. Since then, it served two purposes, a place of worship and a fortress against Muslim raiders. Since 1797, Miagao Church was not only a garrison of the Christian faith, but also an indomitable refuge for citizens during the Spanish Moro Wars. During the revolution in 1898, the church was destroyed and subsequently rebuilt in the same year. In 1910, the church was damaged by fire, while in 1948, it was damaged by an earthquake and the restoration was completed in 1962. Due to the disasters and calamities it went through, Miagao Church underwent restoration work several times already. In 1974, Miagao Church was declared as a national landmark, and in 1993, it was listed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. UNESCO has chosen Miagao Church as one of the World Heritage Sites because it exhibits various architectural designs with the predominance of Baroque architecture and local artistic elements. As the town of Miagao was constantly invaded by the Moros for almost a decade in the mid-18th century, the church had to be moved to a more secure place, so a new fortified church was then built at the highest point of the town to guard against potential invaders. The church was built using a combination of Spanish Baroque and Romanesque early medieval architectural styles with the addition of Chinese, Muslim, and local Filipino elements in the decoration of its facade. For instance, St. Christopher is wearing a traditional Filipino attire and it's surrounded by decorations like papaya and palm trees, which are very common in the country. The Megao Church distinctive yellow ochre color comes from the inclusion of coral, ground into dust, and egg whites in the mixture for the adobes. Egg whites are customarily used by Spaniards to make mortar for their churches in order to make the mixture more durable. The adobe used in building the church is made from silt and clay that can only be found in this part of Iloilo, giving also the building a unique warm yellowish glow. The towering buttresses from the side of the church walls are typical of the earthquake baroque design reminiscent of churches in Ilocos, particularly Pauai Church and Vigan Cathedral. What makes Migao Church as the finest surviving example of fortress baroque are its hawking bell towers, the twin bell towers, each half as wide as the facade of the church look even more massive because of the tapered round pilasters protruding from its corners. The base of the towers project about halfway in front and almost their entire width beside the church. This allows the defenders to protect the openings at the front and sides of the church from attackers. The main church building has a simple rectangular plan. Unlike the larger church and cathedrals in Iloilo, the Megao church has no apse transepts, and interior columns. The only interior columns are a pair of square pillars supporting the choir loft above the front entrance. These columns divide the entrance into three arched bays with the center bay framing the front portal. 
The loft also makes the oculi at the pediment accessible from the inside and may have served a defensive purpose. The perfectly carved colonnettes of the retablo and the acanthus of foliage draping its sides are distinctive design elements of the high baroque style. Next to the life-size crucifix inside the center niche are the statues of Saint Joseph and the patron saint of the church, Saint Thomas. The top niche is occupied by an image of the Santo Nino. The two shrines at the sides of the sanctuary house the statues of the Sacred Heart and the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Megao Church stands as a living legacy of the culture and way of life of the people of Megao centuries ago, anchored in a strong foundation of Christian faith. <music>